This is Mamabuka. He's known for his insane clutches and his hilarious moments. But not many people remember that he used to be the most hated Fortnite player in the world. This is the story of Malibuka, who went from being a villain to hero. Malibuka started playing back in Season 3 of Chapter 1. Just like many other players back then, he was just playing for fun and for the love of the game, and had no idea one day he would become one of the greatest players the game has ever seen. He would continue to play just for fun, not taking the game too seriously. And then the World Cup was announced. In week 9 of solos, he would actually end up making his first earnings. And funny enough, he had this to say about it. Mm -hmm. I played it and I did not even know about prices. Uh, I was playing for fun. After making his first earnings, that's when he knew that he was better than the average player and would start to grind the game more. So after making some money in the World Cup and in the first Winter Royale, he wouldn't see earnings again until a year later. In July of 2020, he would make his first set finals in the solo online DreamHack Cup. However, he would finish very poorly placing 98th, but that was still $300 and reassurance to himself that he can still place. So now it was Chapter 2 Season 3 of Fortnite and the solo FNCS was announced. And this is where he would start to make some more improvements. He would make some money in the third qualifier in a trio cash cup and lastly he would end up making heats for FNCS but again only finished 98th. He wasn't able to call the grands but that was still an extra $1000 he earned. Now from here he would continue to place in a few more cash cups and was able to make money in every session of Frosty Frenzy, getting himself $2200 earned from just that. So now after earning all of this money he was able to finally buy himself a better setup and this is where he would start to shine as a player. In season 5 of chapter 2 he would make his first grand finals appearance after winning the heats and he would end up finishing 19th overall which is very impressive considering he was triple conned at steamy stacks. And keep Steamy in mind because it's going to play a big role in this soon. But the next season, he would unfortunately barely miss out on Grands placing 9th in Heats, so now in Season 7, things were going to change. The solo All-Stars came around and he was able to place 46 in Finals getting himself 4 Grand. But now FNCS was coming up and he was looking for a new trio and this is where he would pick up Shizo and the one and only Mustache. So going into FNCS they were still landing Steamy and after qualifying for Grand Finals they were contested again. But this time it was by Mr. Savage, Refsguard, and Andretta. However, Malibuka would end up only placing 28th this time while Mr. Savage placed 11th. However, that didn't stop him. Now motivated more than ever, going into Season 8, he would have his best season yet. He would also get his best placement, placing 3rd with Mustache in the DreamHack Finals. So now, going into FNCS, their confidence was through the roof. They would end up qualifying straight to Grands after winning the finals of the second qualifier. So now Mr. Savage fans were already not happy with Malibuka contesting him last season. But now after dropping Ref's guard for Benji, Malibuka was facing off against EU's two largest creators and with tens of thousands of people rooting against him. Oh, most of my games after every cash cup, FNKS quals and uh, any tournaments, when we kill them uh, were full of responses about how am I, how am I and I don't need to contest Big Benji. But then, they did the unthinkable. So after getting so much hate for contesting Benji, they ended up placing 7th place overall, doubling their earnings. And Benji would only end up getting 23rd. And interestingly enough, this is what happened afterwards. Much positive, uh, Benji fans began to love me, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, Benji fans began to love you after you beat them? Yeah, 50-50. Some of them started to love me. So after FNCS, Grand Royale was right around the corner, and this was the biggest prize pool we've seen since World Cup. So surely one of them would leave Steamy, right? Well, wrong. They both ended up contesting each other again in Grands. But this time, it did not go too well for him placing 27th overall, and they actually ended up leaving Steamy in the last few games. So now we are heading into Chapter 3, and it was announced that the main game mode would now be duos for the rest of the year. The first season, they would do decent in cash cups and they would only end up finishing 15th in FNCS. But season 2 would be where he would have to make one of the biggest changes in his life. Everybody knows about the war going on with Russia and Ukraine, and with Malibuka being Russian, he was caught up in it. And in March of 2022, Epic would announce that they will not be paying any Russian players because of the war. So in an attempt to keep his Fortnite career, he needed to move and leave his home country and his parents behind. So at the age of 16, Malibuko would move with his brother to Serbia. So after getting all set up there, Season 2 FNCS was right around the corner. So now it was time to see if this move and being away from home for so long would affect how he played. 
It would continue to place consistently in cash cups and like expected qual for the finals of FNCS. But this time, he would have his greatest performance yet. Placing 4th in Grand Finals while contested again by Pink and Anas, now he was starting to cement himself as possibly one of the best players in the world, but he would still have to prove himself. And lucky for him, the largest third party tournament Fortnite has ever seen was coming up soon, which would be Gamers 8. And for this, he would end up doing with the one and only Epic Will, so now going into this tournament, they were some of the favorites to actually win the event. The first tournament they would play would be Zero Builds, and they would end up placing 3rd overall, winning 100 grand. So now was the main event that everybody was waiting for. So after backing himself up in no builds, could he do it again on land? Well, yes he can. Player ends up going down as Malibuka. Gonna be able to pick that up. One, B, two here. Will he be able to hold on? Oh, and oh my gosh! The elimination comes through, but it's not gonna be enough. Pick up all the elims. You guys fight down below. We'll grab the elims, but another Malibuka is going to be able to outlast Thomas HD and take the first match of the day. He's gonna make all the way up. And oh, and for team, who's this now? A big knock. But he's won our hearts, and it looks like he might have also won. Gamers ain't here today. This is huge. Give it up for your winners, Epic Will and Malibuka. They would end up winning the entire thing and getting 250 grand just from builds. And Malibuka would win another 100 grand for being the MVP player of the tournament. So overall, in that one weekend, he would make over 450 grand. So now if Malibuka wasn't on everybody's radar, he would definitely would be now. So now, after winning the first land Fortnite has seen in years, FNCS was coming up. And again, they were the favorites to win it, and he did not disappoint. <laughs> They unfortunately did not end up winning, but they got a second place, netting them a hundred grand. So now they were qualified for the FNCS Invitationals at the end of this year. So now everybody was wondering, could we see him win back-to-back -back LAN events? Well, unfortunately, he was not able to. He would end up being contested by Aqua and Razon and Taysen and Chapix. So even being contested by some of the greatest players Fortnite has seen, they still managed to end up placing 16th. Now going into Chapter 4, Malibuka and Mustache would decide to split. And everyone was confused why and who they would end up playing with since they were still a good duo together. Well, this would actually be one of the best decisions they ever made. Mersash decided to play with Taysen and Malibuka would play with Thomas HD. And to say Malibuka wasn't dominant at the beginning of this chapter would be an understatement. He would win 3 elite weekly cups and place very highly in the rest of them. And in solos, he would make money in pretty much every week and even winning 5 games in one of the solo finals for the victory cups. So going into the first FNCS of chapter 4, they were looking like the favorites again. And well, this one was one of the closest tournaments we've seen in a while. So he would end up placing second place, just barely getting beat out by his old teammate for first. However, this was an insane first FNCS with a new teammate, so they would continue that momentum into the next season. Again, they would dominate the season, placing very highly in every tournament. So now we're heading into Chapter 4 Season 2 FNCS, and again, they were the favorites to win. But this time they would end up being contested, so it's not looking good for them. But wait, it's Malibuka and Thomas HD. Look. So after an insane performance being contested, they brought it back and finished third place in arguably the most impressive performance we have seen in Fortnite. So now, after FNCS, Malibuka would focus on no builds. You see, there was three germ hacks announced, and if you placed highly in them, you would be invited to the $2 million Gamers 8 land that was no builds this year. So he started preparing, and well, he would end up winning DreamHack Dallas and DreamHack Sweden. So now he had a chance again to keep his title as Gamers 8 land winner. And well, this time they didn't end up winning, but finishing in a respectable 5th place overall. 
So now, what does the future have in store for Malibuka? Well, he certainly made his mark on the game creating hilarious moments from his streams while also showing that he is one of the greatest players to touch this game. Going from being hated from every Benji and Mr. Savage fan to now loved in doing better than both of them competitively. To having to move from his home because of a war, Malibuka has shown that he will not let anything stop him and he will become an FNCS champ one day. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, let me know who else you want to see a story on, and have an amazing rest of your days. Peace out.